I'm live. I'm live. Ah. I'm going on Instagram live too, guys. Hold on. Hold the phone. Oh, I am holding the phone. Ha ah. ha. Okay. Hi there, King Shady, CKA85, Richard, and whoever else is here, Paul. Good morning to you guys. Da, 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 da. Or good afternoon, because I'm on the West Coast. Hey there, Brendan and Tom. I'm doing well. Actually doing great. I was I was feeling a little exhausted and under the weather and physically challenged and uh I'm feeling better today, so today's a good day. How are you guys? A Google user, good afternoon to you. And Ricky, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks to all you guys on Instagram and girls on Instagram. Tonight at around six, I'm gonna be joining a live stream on Facebook, so be prepared for um, a notification about this. Uh, it's with someone named Malthy Michelle on Facebook, so check it out. Let's see what we got here. Wart and Chris. Hello to all of you guys. So it's a Q&A day. Thank you, um, our Guido, saying great show. It's a Q&A. Oh, there's Malthy Michelle. Hey. Um, Michelle, give me the, um, write down how they can find us tonight at 6 o'clock. Okay. You, Jamie, you're pregnant. Ooh, well, congrats, I guess. Um, you know, right down here where I, we, you can join us tonight, and there's my Susie. Oh, I'm so excited everybody's on today. So, you guys, I have some of my BFF girlfriends on right now, so if you have any questions for women, older women especially, lay them on us right now. Let's see what's going on, Sufian. Sufian, you saw me on TV. Yeah, I was on the Megyn Kelly show with my son, and... It was such an incredibly awesome experience. Loved it. Hi to all you guys. Yeah, so if you have questions, lay them on me right now. Don't be shy. Uh, uh, hello, dear. Twins, Mako. I enjoy everything you teach as it helped me with my fiance back in Canada. Okay, so here's what you guys got to do. Go to Facebook, type in Michelle Miller. San Diego, into your search bar. My Facebook is public so anyone can watch. Got that, guys? So I'm going to write it down here. It's Michelle Miller. And that's the two L's. And that's San Diego. And you'll see it tonight. And it's going to be fun. All right, Tom, I want, I, I want, always want to date an older woman, but I am shy around older women. Shy is what I hear more than anything. What does shy actually mean? Shy means that you're insecure because you're afraid of rejection or you're afraid of what she's going to think of you. And so if you want to avoid being a, labeled as a shy person in your own mind, the best thing to do is to work on yourself first. What do I mean by that today? I mean, focus on what you can do to make yourself inside and outside the best you can be. And once you get confidence, you won't be so shy. The other thing I would recommend uh, is to just practice talking to strangers on the street or in a, in where you work or in a restaurant or a, you know, in the post office or wherever you are, just say hello and whether they're man, woman, whatever, talk to dogs, just talk to people and see their responses. Cause the more you get comfortable with that, the better you're going to be at actually talking to someone that you want to uh, ask out or impress. You had a dream about me last night, Jiggy Wit. it better been, and you loved it. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I'm so happy that you're having good dreams about me. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. And hi to everyone that's just logging in. Hello, Jesse. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Okay. Questions about being shy. It's a common question. Happy belated 32nd birthday. Oh, that, yeah, I had a great birthday, you guys. I had so much fun on my birthday. I went to what's called the Magic Castle. So much fun. Magic Castle is in, uh, ah, how up first? Um, waving to you. Magic Castle's in Los Angeles. I went with one of America's Got Talent's funniest women. Her name is Vicki Babalak, and her husband and my boyfriend, we went to Magic Castle, and it was really 
there's a real weird vibe in there, but it was very entertaining. And uh, if you ever get a chance to do that in LA, I suggest you go to the Magic Castle and make some magic uh, or whatever. Uh, let's see, how long does it take you to put your gorgeous makeup on? Uh, it, literally, I, hit, I put in very minimal makeup and it takes about 30 seconds. I'm not one of those people that spends an hour. Thank you for sharing about your big dick, infamous Dean. Uh, let's see. Wave, 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 wave. Okay. Uh, why do men feel the need to talk filthy online when they don't even know you? Uh, a Google user, what do you think? I personally think that it's easy to do stuff when you can hide behind your keyboard with a different username than you are and no one knows you. And maybe that's the only way that you can get attention. So I get it. Uh, do I think it's appropriate? No. And sometimes I will block people that do shit like that. CK85, I remember you said a while back, you said you would dated George Clooney. I thought it was the late Burt Reynolds, AKA Bandit. Uh, I would freaking date either one of them. It's a little late for George, I mean, for Burt Reynolds, but uh, yeah, those are some of my faves. Uh, you're having dreams right now. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, you guys uh, don't do things like, I got a phone call from someone randomly don't don't call strangers that freaks them out uh unless they tell you to call them or give you their phone number and say please call me don't don't send emails that are weird and you know just think a little before you send stuff out on the internet because it, it just makes you look bad and it probably makes the person receiving it like if i get a dick pic i really get upset about it I, i'm like you don't want to upset me just don't send me that kind of crap Send it to people that request it. And even the porn stars I know don't request dick pics. Where's the best place to meet older women on a Wednesday night? Classy convos and getting to know them, etc. Okay, so <laughs> Wednesday night is just the same as any other night. <clears throat> Get into the mind of where someone would hang out like me. Where would I hang out in, on a Wednesday night? I would probably go to like a restaurant bar if I was going out to dinner or something. Usually it revolves around food or alcohol or if there's some sort of like entertainment, like a comedy or music or like the Magic Castle. But you definitely want to get out of the house, get out of your basement, get out of, get hiding behind your, your keyboard and just try to figure out places that an older woman go to and you don't need a lot of money. You just have to have the idea and you have to have the guts to walk up and introduce yourself to people. So I hope that helps you doesn't haunt her. But um, a lot of people I know join organizations like they join like things that interest them, even if it's like wine tasting or charity organizations, things like that. You can meet people that, so it's not like this is a, you know, pickup place. Would, would you do another video with Nina Hartley? Uh, I do, I actually was with her yesterday and we don't do any porn. We just talk and, um, yeah, she's definitely going to come on sex talk with my mom, my podcast. So check out sex talk with my mom, the podcast. And, uh, we asked today, um, if you have any ideas, we've been approached about TV shows. If you have a TV show that you want uh, to see me and my son in as, as far as like the, the podcast goes, uh, let us know. And at yes, text mom, you can just text us there or call us there. Yes, text mom. It's like, you know, you dial in the alphabet letters, the numeral uh, alphabet letters of that. Let's see. I'm going to a restaurant tonight. Thank you. You rock. Oh, Desert Hunter. Haunter. Let, let us know how that goes. Will Topper, thank you for the birthday. Thank you guys all for the birthday messages. I wanted to say I really appreciate them. That was a lot of fun. Getting all the messages from all you guys. I love it. And when I say guys, you know, I mean girls too. Uh, let's see. What kind of bra or panties do you love to wear? Oh, for crying out loud. Um, those are kind of like weird questions. Anything that makes me feel good. How's that for an answer? Uh, da, 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 da. I like you. I like you. I like you guys too. Very nice. Uh, let's see. Can you hook me up with your friends? No, I cannot. I get that asked a lot. And I want to ask you something. Do you think that any of my friends are going to want to go out with people that they don't know? No, they don't. The answer to that question is no. If someone is touchy with you, does that mean they are into you? It happens all the time at work with an older woman. <clears throat> she always calls me baby, by the way. She's 59 and 31. Ricky, I think there's a good likelihood that she is um, at least flirting with you. 
that's at the minimal and that you should definitely try to, I mean, if it's at work is a little iffy cause you don't want to mess around with the, you know, any kind of sexual harassment stuff at work. But I mean, if you wanted to say, ask this person to go for a cup of coffee with you, I see nothing wrong with that. So yeah, I think there's definitely something going on if she's touching you. I think body language is key. So try to learn to read someone's body language. If someone's touching your arm or if she's going like this with the hair or, you know, if she's smiling at you and laughing at your jokes and all that kind of stuff, that's always a very good sign in my book. And Eric says, Ricky, she wants the dicky. Okay, there you go. Uh, let's see, Melvin, I love it. Hello, I love your views on a mature woman. My question is about men that are married. If a man told you he was married and his wife knew everything and you spoke to her, what would you consider that? Melvin, uh, not me personally, but I think it's very important that if you are in an open relationship that you tell that, you know, and, and absolutely if you get your your partner involved in that, there are a lot of people out there that are veering towards these um, polyamorous and open relationships. So sure, why not? I mean, that's not me, but it could be for other people. And thank you. Uh, I'm 59. I have many, uh, I have many 25 year old men that are interested. I feel that I need someone, uh, who's my age. When I went out with the younger men, they want to go to bed on the first date. Well, they can want to go to bed on the a Google user. They could want to go to bed on the first date, but that doesn't mean you have to go to bed with them. And you can also mess just like kiss them or whatever, and just do things that are just where you're at. Um, but if you want to meet someone your age, go for someone your age. I mean, I, I would say don't even have an age, just whoever you're attracted to be with. What's the difference between MILFs and Cougars? This is a good question. Personally, I just feel like MILF is like, mother, I like to fuck. It just sounds like you just want to fuck someone who's attractive, like sex, sexually attractive, whereas Cougars I have redefined. Tonight I'll be wearing my Cougar shirt. It's confident, older, unique, genuine, assertive, and racy woman. That's my acronym of Cougar. I think you guys know that already. And I turn them down and they get really mad at Google user. You know, just, I don't know what to say to that. You know, sometimes they're gonna get angry about, you know, if, but I guess if you articulate your intentions from the start, they can't really get angry. You told them where you're at. Just don't be somewhere, don't be with someone who is going to be foolish enough to get angry at you if you say no. I mean, just be careful. Uh, I suggest Hartley should make her own show. You should tell her. By the way, how would I go through the process of doing a video with her? Uh, go to Nina Hartley Live, and I think that they have stuff there. She has a, a whole new website there. Let's see. Oh, Anna, you are. Anna is the Google user that is telling us about all the young guys that want to have sex with her. Andy, hello, C O U G A R, you got me there. Um, hello, Anna, how are you? Oh, everyone loves Anna. Okay. The Cougar Life for you, like Julia Ann on the commercial. Okay, thank you for that. Are you married or have you a boyfriend? Or are you still single and ready to mingle? I'm a Rohit, uh, have a boyfriend. Karen, do you prefer someone to call you a male for a Cougar? I prefer a Cougar for sure. Uh, let's see. Do you get tired of compliments on your beauty? Never get tired of compliments on my beauty. No, who would? I, I, I do think I like people that ask me more like, if, I, if, you, if you were trying to pick me up, I'd want you to say, what are your passions? What are your hobbies? What makes you tick? Well, you know, more than, oh, you have nice tits, you know, that kind of thing. Thank you, Ricky Rick. Ah, uh, sexy tab. Let's see. Da, 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 da. I'm, I'm, sco I'm scrolling down on Instagram. So you guys are right now. I'm doing Instagram and YouTube, answering questions about anything in life, but preferably not. Uh, what type of panties do I have? You keep trying to put me in the friend zone. Yes, I do. Uh, let's see. Uh, thank you for the Spanish there. Uh, da, 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 da. All right, just trying to find someone who has something that they want to ask. And I uh, appreciate all those thumbs up and everything else. And if you haven't thumbs up the video, please thumbs up this video. I'm a cougar. Ah, the cougar I'm dating now wants me to know her son of my age. What should I do? Ezekiel, why not just meet him? Why not? I mean, it, it's, it's going to be awkward, but 
once you're comfortable with it, you just, it'll be normalized. So you just got to go ahead and do it. My boyfriend is a lucky guy. I will tell him you said that. Uh, thank you, Z Network. Um, let's see. Where would one meet women your age who would be inclined to date younger men? I, Alex, I just answered that a little earlier. I think you just have to try to go to places where older women hang out. And, and it's like one guy told me what he does is he actually yelps, goes on uh, Yelp and reviews like and puts in Cougar and it, it, it'll say Cougar bars and it'll tell you what nights like older women will hang out like a certain night. Maybe there's a ladies night or something in the community where they hang out at certain bars. They give them like half price drinks for ladies, that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, I think you just have to just kind of like find a, 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 an older vibe kind of crowd. Uh, how can I find the podcast from the beginning? Um, so go to wherever you listen to podcasts, type in sex talk with my mom. And I believe that it, it usually comes up in order. And if it doesn't, um, just scroll down to the bottom and you'll find the first one. And, uh, also we have YouTube. So if you ever want to go on YouTube, uh, some of the video, uh, we see some of the videos of podcasts and also skits that we do. We do a lot of sketches. Hey there, Celestian Sims. Thank you for the birthday greetings. Greetings from the Netherlands. Thank you, Ta Tony. Uh, I'm a Yahoo Messenger. Anytime you like to talk, feel free to text me. Uh, uh, not going to answer spit or swallow questions right now. Thank you for asking that. <coughs> Hey, ah, I realize Tinder sucks. Can you give me some tips like what you might expect if I was to approach you? Uh, you mean in person as opposed to Tinder? Well, the most important thing is what I said before. I don't know if some people are joining me late, but if you want to approach an older woman, <clears throat> and something's stuck in my throat. If you want to approach an older woman, work on like thinking about questions that are going to actually make her feel special and make her feel like you actually want to look at her as more than just the outside and just try to figure out what makes her tick inside. Like my favorite is what are your passions? I love that question. I think that everyone has passions. And if you care enough to ask, she might actually tell you, Oh, I love whatever she loves. I mean, she might love painting or she might love music or she might love, like comedy, whatever it is that she's passionate about. Maybe she's a you know wine enthusiast. So everyone has some passion, especially like older dynamic women. They have probably multiple passions. Would you see a 23-year-old? I mean, casual gamer, I'm involved with somebody, so I probably wouldn't see a 23-year-old. In my age gap, you know, as you get older, I think that that the age gap of what um, the older girl's going to want is not going to be the same as like maybe a 30-year-old would want to see a 23 year old, but I don't know that it's necessarily going to be someone who's 60 years old is going to want to be with a 23 year old. So, you know, I think that it, it, it really depends though, because sometimes you can get some really mature 20 something year old with a 60 something year old. It just, it, it's age is like really all like up here. It's like a mental state. Produce section of the grocery store as an animal house. Yeah, maybe. Are there cougars out there that are actually willing to have children? Yeah, sure, Joey. There are older women who still maybe have never had children and they want to have children or they, they are, you know, not that old. I mean, you listen, you can have, you can have kids and up into your, your forties. So there's definitely people out there. I'm sure that want to have kids. That's not probably the most common thing, but maybe I'm happy to see you and Cam are doing well. Thank you, Bryson. Very sweet. My son is Cam. That's who I do the sex talk with my podcast with. And if you guys haven't checked it out, please do. It's really funny. I would hate to have you guys miss out. We did a really funny episode recently. And uh, it, it, who do we put on the last one that's so funny? Um, oh, we just recapped our Megyn Kelly experience. And then this coming out on Thursday is going to be hilarious. So when you go to Sex Talk with my mom, put the subscribe button. And then all the podcasts, um, when we uh, upload them, will be um, you'll be notified that. And that way you can find out when we do the podcast because you don't want to miss them. They're very funny. We always get great response. And if you like them, leave a review on iTunes. You saw me on the show the other day and you and your son are so informative. I enjoyed it so much. I'm so glad, uh, Anna, the Google user, change your name to put, use your real name, Anna. Uh, let's see. 
what type of healthy habits do you suggest that would improve your chance with cougars? Brady, oh, uh, I think that's kind of like a no-brainer question, but I will answer it. I certainly think that you really need to start thinking about your body as a machine. I like that analogy, like whatever goes in that machine. Like if you have one phenomenal car, you got this like incredible Porsche car. You're not going to put shitty oil in there. You're not going to put shitty food in your body. And you're not going to drink crappy, sweet, sugar, crap, sodas or whatever. Take good care of your body. It's super easy to do it. Just eat really healthy. Eat in the more that you feel good about how you're uh, physically looking on the outside, it's going to affect your inside. But of course, it is important to find out what 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 can you do. Write down your goals or what you want to do. Write down the positive statements about yourself. Really try to think positive about yourself insert inside and outside. And that way, you'll be ready to uh, get with cougars because you do have to have your A game on when you want to be with an older woman who's already got a lot of stuff going on in her life. So she's not going to want to deal with someone who's like, oh, I'm still sitting around getting high in my basement, smoking, you know, and drinking and not really, you know, focused on their future. Someone, you know, even if you're not making money, just at least show you have a drive to do something. Do you get what I'm saying there, Brady? Uh, you're enjoying it, uh, Anna? You're enjoying uh, iTunes, I mean, uh, Sex Talk on Mom. I'm so glad we ended up getting a lot of really good response from the Megan Kelly show. By the way, I'm going to put the link in the description box below here on YouTube. And you can find it on Instagram too if you go to my bio. But um, it's, it's the Megan Kelly. It was last Friday. And uh, Megan Kelly today. And the link will be below. Uh, let's see, CK85, Karen, since we're past the summer of love 50 years ago, what did you do when you were young, hippie in the days or Woodstock? Uh, what did I do in my hippie days? I, um, you know what? I just loved hanging around in my, it, it was during when I was in college. And uh, I actually was, believe it or not, I was too young for Woodstock. But uh, I was old enough to remember the, the days with, you know, or, hippie days that when the musical Hailer came out, uh, listening to you know, some classic rock and roll and uh, just enjoying life. It was very simple then. We didn't have to worry about a lot of the things that people have to worry about now. I didn't have to worry about AIDS. We didn't have to worry about um, uh, a lot of the, the diseases that are around right now. So it was easier then. Do older women and compliments, do older women like compliments on their hair? Yes. Older women will like confidence on anything. Eric, thank you for telling me you're a sex machine. I was wondering about it. I'm glad we got that out in the open. Uh, let's see. Do you still enjoy cunnilingus? Who doesn't enjoy cunnilingus, J.D. Witt? Do you still enjoy blowjobs? Obviously. Uh, let's see. Bryson, have you added more subs since your appearance? Yeah, definitely more people have subscribed to my YouTube channel and our... Um, um, our podcast for sure. Uh, let's see. Where do you go to be a program uh, to donate to the program? Oh, Patreon here. I'm going to put Patreon on Instagram here. Patreon is the way that you could support me. And also if you go to Patreon, we have a Patreon for sex talk with my mom. I'm going to put that here as well. It's, it's patreon.com slash Karen Lee or sex talk with my mom. And we can really use the support on sex talk with my mom, the podcast. Because uh, my son does this as a full time job. So I'm putting it right there. So if you're just joining in, please check out there and pinning it. Patreon.com slash sex talk by mom. Unfortunately, they labeled us as like adults only. So nobody knows about us on Patreon. Um, so check it out. It'll be my, my own currently and also on sex talk by my mom. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. You're just joining in, Michael. Okay, welcome. Um, let's see. Thank you for all the compliments. Let's see. Hello to you in Atlantic City. I saw you on last week. Oh, uh, Salation Sims. Uh, that was a wonderful tip you gave about older women to the whole world about older women loving, which tip in particular, because I gave a lot of tips, but it's all about 
to me, all women around the world need to know that there are a lot of younger guys that are interested in them and they should avail themselves to being great teachers to those younger guys and to having fun with them. There's such a good dynamic between the older woman and younger man relationship. You are so awesome to be able to look at these com comments and actually comment even the bad ones. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time there, Anna, and uh, don't worry, and none of this stuff affects me. It's like I'm a duck, you know, and water hits on the duck's feathers and just kind of floats right off. I mean, if you're gonna be really bad and mean and obnoxious, I will definitely block them, but and I just started a new medical job. Healthy habits had been on my mind. Brady, oh, I'm pondering looking at those delivery services for health, healthy food. Yeah, try these delivery services for healthy food because when you order in, there's so much salt and bad stuff and processed foods, but there's some of them that I've tried personally, and I don't financially benefit per saying this, but I have tried um, freshly, and you're able to see like the uh, calorie counts, the salt, and all the um you know, the stuff inside so you know what you're getting and you can eat, you know, eat healthy portions accordingly. So I would try these kind of things. Good idea, Brady. Question, have you ever had more than one penis in you at the same time? Michael, very much this question. I'm not going to answer it. Uh, you are awesome to be, oh, back to, yeah, yeah thank you for saying that, uh, Michael, right after Anna says that uh, I, have, I have to deal with these things. Uh, Mr. Pyro Bray, my birthday was fabulous. I talked earlier about how much fun I had uh, at the Magic Castle with the hilarious Vicki Barbalak. You guys, she was on America's Got Talent. She made it to the finals and she is going on a nationwide tour. So you have to check her out. Go to her Instagram and you'll see pictures of the two of us. There's a video out there that's uh, very, very funny. And uh, Michael, is that considered offensive about the, yeah, that's considered offensive to ask a woman if she's had more than one penis in her at the same time. Do you feel that that's an appropriate question to ask your mother? Uh, if you don't, then don't ask it to me. Uh, are older women open to cosplay? I ask them uh, because I'm a comic book movie fan, Marvel comics to be specific. Is cosplay like role playing to, in, with costumes? I, I think Pretty much anybody would be open to that if you had a, a you know an adventure some woman why not uh let's see jiggy jiggy wit uh, uh should an older woman or uh, should a younger guy pound an older woman or thrust slow jiggy wit you need to ask the person you're with what the what ways they like it uh, Karen, my birthday also comes in the month of september 14th glad to know we're born in the same month oh happy birthday to Rohit, Rohit, uh, are older women open to more than one man at the same time? I uh, don't know of any myself. Not answering spit or swallow questions. All right, guess what, guys? I got two minutes left, and I think we've hit an, um, an all-time obnoxious level on the questions, which means that I got to go. So hope you guys enjoyed this live stream. If you did, make sure to give a thumbs up uh, to the video. Don't forget that, uh, like I said, uh, looking for ideas for Sex Talk with My Mom, the TV show. If you have ideas of what you'd like to see on that, let us know. And you know how to find us on Patreon, P-A-T-R-E-O-N. I'll put it right here as well, patreon.com slash sex talk with my mom. Ah. Or if you just want to find me, it's slash sex slash Karen Lee. Uh, what's the best feature to compliment? All right, you guys, I have to run. It is that bewitching hour now and I got to go. So make sure that you subscribe, turn on your notifications, and then you'll find out the next time I go live. Uh, same on Instagram. If you are just joining me here on Instagram, the same thing there. Uh, I love you guys. Mwah. Muchos uh, kisses and thank you for um, all the birthday wishes. I really, uh, it meant a lot to me. I appreciate it. Uh, I, saw, I tried to respond to as many as I could, but if you want to comment below, please do. Bye-bye.